Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss the topic, the classification of poisons. This is one of the uh, important topic in forensic. Now first, let's discuss the definition of poison. Like poison, any substance when in inhaled, ingested, or applied or administered in the body produces a ill health or death. So the definition is very important. Like any substance when inhaled or ingested or applied or administered in the body produces ill health or death. This is called as poison. So whenever you get a question like the classification of poisons, first you have to write uh, first definition and the classification. So classification. Uh, firstly, the classification is done um, like based on the site of action. and based on the medical legal classification so based on the site of action it's like local and systemic so based on the like local local action and systemic action in the local action it is like uh, corrosives and irritants like the poison cause um, if the it produces a corrosive function these are called corrosives and if they cause irritation and they are known as irritants next up systemic so based on the system on which they act if they are act on a cns they are known as neurotoxic and if they are done like cvs cardiotoxic respiratory and hepatotoxic miscellaneous this is a classification based on the based on the site of action next medical legal classification so uh, medical legal classification they are uh, like classified into suicidal for example if they use a poison for the suicide attempting suicide or killing someone like homicide or accidental poisoning um, like uh, snake bite scorpion bite uh, or stupefying like suicidal homicidal stupefying means like uh, if um, if they take that poison they, they become so insensible if they don't know what they're doing like alcohol and uh, they lose their senses so be fine accidental arbutifacent uh, arbutifacent means like they cause abortions like if they take that um, like poison that causes abortions in the old ages oh, in the old ages they used to use this and um, uh, cattle poisons and arrow poisons like um, to kill the cattle or in the olden days they used to use this arrow poisons for hunting and all and this um, corrosives are again classified they classified into strong acid strong alkalis and salts so in the strong acids we have inorganic and organic in inorganic we have h2so4 hcl hno3 acetic acid salicylic in organic we have acetic acid salicylic acid oxalic acid and carbolic acid and in strong alkalis we have uh, carbonates and hydrates of sodium potassium and ammonia and in um, salts we have copper sulfate zinc chloride and iron chloride this is what it is and um, now we'll have this um, irritants so irritants are classified as like see, uh, uh, mechanical organic and inorganic mechanical or like powdered glass hair pins and it etc organic plant poisons and animal poisons so in plant poisons we have arbus plicatorius and calotropis in animal poisons we have uh, snake bite and scorpion like and um, in organic we have metals like uh, mercury lead and arsenic and non metallic we have iodine and iodine chloride iodine chloride next uh, neurotoxic so the poisons acting on the nervous system so neurotoxic so uh, we'll have the next cerebral the acting cerebellum we have cerebral and spinal see if it all they cause depression cns depressants cns delirians cns stimulants and psychotropic drugs so now we have to remember all this in the cns depression so uh, they may ask you in the viva like what is the cns depression what is the cns delirians so we have to remember this sub classifications like uh, under cns depressants these drugs cause uh, like depression of the cns central nervous system like general anesthetics like ether either ether chloroform opium sedative uh, hypnotics benzodiazepines barbiturates alcohol so i just made a mnemonic to just remember this um, see uh, there is a patient um, just this mnemonic just this is a story simple story to remember this um, 
CNS depressants. Just let's let think there's a patient who came for the OP uh, and uh, so he had some problem and the doctors had planned for a surgery and he, he had taken to surgery room um, like uh, OT, they, they took the patient to the OT and the, they gave him the general anesthesia like what they gave him like ether and chloroform they gave and sedative hypnotics because the causes like it was just sleep in the patient so they gave sedative hypnotics and ether and chloroform and the doctor came out and he was just staring out of the window then he just saw a benz car and he also from the benz car he saw a girl so very um, girl and and the girl looks so pretty she's just like a um, barbie and he, the doctor noticed that she's drinking alcohol so now we'll remember this see general anesthetics we have this general like op so patient he came to the op so opm they planned for surgery and they gave gave him the general anesthetic then anesthesia that is the ether and chloroform you have opm here and sedative to hypnotics like to induce sleep and doctor saw just a benzocar benzodiazepines and a girl came out of that and like a barbie doll so barbie churis and she's drinking alcohol so alcohol so by this you can remember this is the way i just remembered and uh, like i hope you guys like this and uh, cns delirance delirance like they cause delusions hallucinations so like how i remember this is like see what we always imagine like going out chilling with friends and see the summer so we always uh, dream of uh, uh, going out with the patient going to cafes and drinking coca cola and going to some amphitheaters like we have a amphitheater in our college so we always dream like that dream like that no so like yeah so coca cola like you know, cocaine uh, uh, cafe so caffeine amphetamine like amphitheater and just remember like that uh, if you like you can remember go with it next um, cns stimulants um see there's a person i'll just say a mnemonic for this to remember of there's a person whose name is kanna and he thought of uh, like he had a girlfriend and he decided to go for a date he go to date and date is at a rope where we have to do belly dance on the rope so yeah cannabis date datura like date like date datura and a trope we have to do belly dance so a trope of belladonna this is what and um, psychotropic drugs so we have uh, see we go to psychiatric uh, like psychiatry like whenever we have depression when we have, whenever we have anxiety so like yeah so antidepressant when, whenever we have hallucination so hallucinogens hallucinogens tranquilizers so you can remember this like this and um, so now we have cardiac poisonings we have you can remember this like a dot a d for digitalis so oleander tobacco econite respiratory so mainly we'll get the gases in this like co like you can write whatever gases you know like not like oxygen and all but the gases which are harmful might be knowing right co co2 h2s or gases and co gases and pesticides mm, organophosphorus and organochlorine so yeah this is what guys i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching